Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Commander Clash podcast, where the Commander Clash crew, me, Seth, Richard, and Krim, all discuss Commander-related topics. And this week, we have something that we've had on our mind, have been discussing uh, for weeks now. So finally, we got to settle the score. We're going to be talking about the difference between a combo and a synergy. Why did my voice crack? Whatever. Uh, so yeah, we've been we've been uh, having uh, our internal debates uh, over on early earlier on Commander Clash episodes and on the stream and whatnot. What constitutes a combo a combo and a synergy? Uh, there's clearly a lot of overlap between the two statements, and a lot of people use the two interchangeably. But we want to kind of narrow it down and define the two uh, terms. And it's mostly for my sanity, to be honest. I just want to have that written down. Uh, we had a Commander Clash uh, stats wrap-up for Commander Clash number 10. And we had a, a data entry for uh, the number of combos each of us were running. And we had some arguments even there being like, why is this counted? Why wasn't this counted? What, why, what constitutes this and this? Like, so... We're finally going to actually like sit down and discuss uh, defining the two. Mostly it's just semantics. It's not really a big deal. It's not a huge thing. People will use it interchangeably and people will continue using it interchangeably uh, for the foreseeable future. But we wanted to come down and, and see if we can get an agreement, at least amongst the four of us, uh, what is a combo and what is a synergy. So let's just start it off first uh, before we actually like start diving into a deep uh, if I were to s just stop you on the street or whatever, what would you say is uh, the definition between a combo or a synergy? And we'll start with you, Richard. Uh, what would you I call don't know what street uh, we're walking down? Uh, so yeah. I think everything is I a combo. Come at you with a mic. <laughs> uh, magic players don't call anything a synergy. Like that's not a word we really use. So like literally everything is a combo. Uh, totally. But if I were to put some words to it. I would say any combination of cards that leads you to be in an overwhelming position to win the game. Like something like 95% plus, right? Like you are most likely going to win the game right there unless some really weird edge cases show up. And I think the confusion is what likely to win the game means and in what context. Mm. I think a lot of cards are combos in 1v1 commander, or not 1v1 commander, a 1v1 constructed play, but they're not necessarily combos as you think of them uh, in four players. And then also just different power levels, what people are thinking about uh, as likely to win the game or not. So yeah, just combination of cards that are very likely to win you the game right there. Okay, and what would you, what would you say is a synergy then? Everything else. Every, if you have a deck, it theoretically synergy. synergizes with each, like every card synergizes with every other card, right? It's not a random pile of cards. So like almost everything is a synergy. Uh, so so would like uh, a basic planes and a source of plowshares be considered a synergy? Yes. Yes. Because you know okay. what's not a synergy? A swamp and a source of plowshares. <laughs> I mean, fair. <laughs> All right. So so we've we've got we've got one definition down. Uh, synergies are anything in magic and <laughs> combos are a combination of cards that are likely to win you the game. Cool. All right. Uh, Krim, what would you say is a synergy and what would you say is a combo? Uh, for me, I would probably drop anything that I would say anything that can win right there, much like Richard had mentioned. So like is a combo. So like Splinter Twin will kill you right there. Uh, so that's a combo. But, you know, like if, if I, I don't actually know if I consider infinite mana or infinite life uh, a combo unless you can actually win right there. That's just extremely synergistic, right? So for me, I, I think that just, yeah, you have to win. You have to you win. You have to win. So would you consider, um, let's say, so if, if you have any, any like two or three combinations of cards, mm -hmm. um, that produce infinite mana, like for mm -hmm. example, Basalt Monolith and Rings of Bright Hearth. Um, they, they can produce infinite colorless mana. Would you call that a combo or a synergy? Uh, I'd call that popping off or synergy. Popping off. <laughs> okay. That's the third category, popping yeah. off. Do we have the popping third category? Off. What about gaming? Was there <laughs> yeah, gaming yeah. and popping off chilling? and a synergy? And then there's e, the there's e sports mode where you lean forward in your chair. 
That's that's also what we would call that. Yeah. But that isn't when actually... you're up against your brother in a fighting game and you lean <laughs> yeah. forward yeah. <laughs> after yeah. he wins round one. But yeah. but is that a combo? No, because I I haven't lost. The combo piece would be let's just say then once you sink that infinite mana, then it's like all right, you sink that into something that kills me right then and there. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, all right, then I'll turn to you, Seth. What would you define as a synergy? And what do you define as a combo? So I think synergies and combos are basically the same thing. Like, I, my take is all combos are synergies, but not all synergies are combos. And the, the difference is kind of along the lines of what Richard and Krim are saying is a, a combo is likely to win you the game either immediately or in the near future. Like, it doesn't have to be right now, but within the next, like, turn, let's say. So somewhere around there. So basically, I think a synergy is two or more cards that kind of power each other up. They each make each other better than they would be individually. A combo is the same thing, except it leads to you winning the game either immediately or within like the next turn or so like that is the the qualification you, you do need to be winning the game or i maybe would accept like killing someone in a multiplayer game like maybe if you're causing One someone person. else to lose the game i think that would still qualify but something big is happening someone's going out of the game or you're straight up winning the game Okay, so a synergy is like a bunch of individual pieces that when put together, they're greater than the, the sum is greater than the parts. Basically, yeah, they, they they power each other up and they get better because they exist. Combo's the same. Yeah. It's more than one card that power each other up, but a combo is more impactful because it leads to you winning the game in theory or someone losing the game. Okay, okay. And, and I think you diverged a little bit from Richard and Krim when you said he, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to like win the game outright. It could win the game in like one or two turns, or it could just take out one person instead of like the entire table. Okay. Yes, I would. Yeah, I would. I would still consider that a combo. Okay. Okay. What about? Um, all right. We're we're gonna keep we're gonna keep specific uh, options uh, later on. But uh, I I wanted to actually also bring up the question of storm because like the storm archetype. Uh, which basically the, the premise of a storm deck is you try to cast a bunch of different spells one after the other, chain them together, and then you lead into some some sort of finisher that says basically like it gets more powerful uh, the number of spells you've cast before. So we've seen this. It, it's named after the storm mechanic, uh, a card like uh, Grape Shop, for example, where you copy um, the spell one time for every single other spell that was cast uh, previously on this turn. Um, and generally speaking, these aren't, uh, like fully deterministic. I want to say as a word where like you could, you could just cast a bunch of spells, draw a bunch of cards, maybe run out of mana and fizzle out. Would you consider that a combo? Yes. Yes. It yes. Is the, I don't think, yeah. It it's the first thing you think of, right? When someone says combo if you're not a commander player if you're a constructive player someone says combo you're like storm john finkel what like that's like the first thing you think of right <laughs> yeah i think uh, i think with storm there's usually combos in your storm deck i i think of like storm as the finisher but normally like it's uh passed in flames and that's what's comboing with your storm card or yagmas will and that's so i can if i stretch a little bit i could see like tendril's egg and a yagmas will being a two card combo sure you got to cast a bunch of other stuff in between <laughs> but it's those two cards that are you know doing something really powerful that's winning you the game essentially well the, the combo is like seven i don't know what the number is like four cantrips or rituals slash tutors into past in flames into grape shot right that's the combo it's just the first four parts you have like 30 of them in your deck right they're all interchangeable right your rituals and your cantrips are all interchangeable so you know that is the combo right cantrips but rituals plus I, your graveyard I, flashback thingy plus your storm finisher well what I, if what if you like sorry go ahead i was gonna say i kind of just think of those as parts of your deck like i don't consider those to be a part of your combo i think those are the pieces you're using to find your combo, uh, and then your combo is like the pass in flames plus grape shot or whatever. But if you literally just pass in flames and grape shot, you dealt two damage, right? <laughs> like you happens. needed you needed the mana and those spells being cast or in your graveyard to like chain off, right? Like those are part of your combo. 
But what if what if you chain off and you do a grape shot for it's like twenty, but somebody's at forty life, so they survive? Was that that's not a, a combo? That's you a fizzled. <laughs> yeah, it's a punt, that's right? A, that's you fizzled. a punt. <laughs> so, so combos are allowed to fizzle. Is basically what if you Valakut and can... pointed at yourself and said you're opponent by accident? <laughs> like, I don't know. You kind of botched it, right? Like, well, is Valakut can... a combo? I will get to that soon because we're gonna we have a <laughs> bunch of uh, examples that we're gonna discuss together. I don't think a combo um, has to be deterministic. I don't think it has yeah. to be 100% this yeah. is going to happen. But I think there has to be a high likelihood that what you're doing is going to gonna lead to the end result yeah. of you winning the game or whatever. It's like if you splinter twinned and they have like a plague engineer, like... <laughs> like you comboed, <laughs> but like they got you, right? You know what yeah. I mean? Like there's some percentage of you losing even though you comboed off, right? Or you like... Yeah. Brain guys are them or something, but they have a lab man. You're like, oops, right? Like, I don't well, know, right? Like, I think most of the combos assume that there's no interference from your opponents when you're doing yeah. so. Like, you're you're basically gold fishing, or else basically no card would be considered a combo if that would invalidate it, right? Whereas Storm is in a u- unique situation where it's not deterministic, and you can just have a, a chance of failure in your own deck. Whereas oh, oh, only other, the most like, sketch stuff. cases, though, right? Like yeah. normally a storm player, you know, they're not going to do it and fail unless they're about to die, right? Those are like I'm about to die here, so we're going to have to do the <laughs> storm, have you, <laughs> gonna do the sketch storm here and hope it pulls through, right? Look, but I, I will, I will force storm in every single vintage cube <laughs> that will ever happen. It doesn't matter how bad it is. It doesn't matter even if I have a, a storm finisher. I'm still going to do it. And sometimes it gets pretty sketchy, Richard. Sometimes, sometimes you side out your win con. And you're like, wait a minute. What am I even storming into? I hope they can see. I'm casting lots of spells. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> that, that was literally my win con one time. It was great. <laughs> Watch me go. Um, all right. Uh, okay. So to round it out uh, for myself, I'm going to disagree a little bit. Um, I, I agree with the group that uh, a, a synergy is basically like a bunch of individual pieces where when put together, their sum is greater or the whole is great. You know, you know, the saying where the, the bunch, all of them together are more powerful than the cards individually. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and then and then uh, combos are going to be cards that uh, interaction synergies that either immediately win you the game or. Uh, uh, can be repeated infinite times, like immediately. So I would consider, for example, Basalt Monolith and Rings of Bright Hearth making infinite mana. I I would call that a combo. Um, it doesn't win the game by itself. Uh, you would need a third piece uh, to utilize that infinite mana to to win the game. But I think like the act of like doing something like performing an action infinite times, it seems like a combo to me. I don't know. That, that, oh, that's how I I, mean, I see it. What a, what about okay? I have a question for you. What about like Kiora's follower? Yeah, <laughs> just a two drop that says tap to untap. Oh, that one actually says another target permanent. But what about something that you just can tap and untap itself? Basalt monolith, one card combo. Just it doesn't do anything, but you can tap an and untap, untap it combo. an infinite yes. number of times. Like so, that by itself just basalt well, monolith. Maybe period. Maybe, combo. maybe it has to be more than one card. Maybe it's like a combination of cards that can produce an infinite uh, result. I would no, say they, that they, there are cards that can like infinitely ETB themselves or something like that, right? Which sure, is yeah. the same as like an infinite mana, except infinite mana is much easier to cash in on, right? There's like a million cards that win you the game with infinite mana. There's like three cards that win you with infinite tap untaps or something, and you know there's more for ETB triggers, right? So the mana is just more, just like colored mana is way better than colorless mana because you have way more options. Like mm-hmm. how likely are you to win with this infinite whatever? But yeah, I'm sure there's some something with like a zero, like wandering fumeral. I can activate it infinite times this turn. Did I win? <laughs> any, like like what what well, actually yeah. takes well, advantage can, of that? Right, like, like very little. Yeah, so. there's, there's like a lot of like uh, uh, infinite ETB stuff like Cloudstone Curio and two uh, two uh, permanents share that are zero CMC. Two like an kobolds. <laughs> yeah, two kobolds. Uh, two kobolds and a Cloudstone Curio. One enters the battlefield and bounces the other back through your hand. You do that infinite times. I would consider that a combo, but mm-hmm. it wouldn't win you the game. You would just I, still need like impact trimmers or something to win I the game. To f- 
I tend to feel like it's not a combo unless you have the the extra piece, and then it yeah. is. Like if you have the impact tremors, then that no argument. That's definitely a combo. If you're just mm-hmm. bouncing your ragak a million times, a million times. Uh, then I just want to punch you. Like there's <laughs> like that's not doing anything produ- productive for anyone. Oh my god! Can you imagine? Like you, you could like go to a com- you could go to like a game of commander and you're about to lose and you just like you filibuster the table by just doing this over and over again. Can you I'm comboing, guys. I'm comboing. Look at I don't, you have, like I don't have any. Concede. Would you like to concede? No. I was Would like, you yes, like to concede? Doing this, then. I wonder how, actually, how that actually works because there's no judge. There's no game. Like, there's no slow play, right? Like, what are they... Well, everyone really just like punches you and walks it away. It really like, does what, end what, with a punch. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what, 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 what exactly happens if you're in one of those like EDH tournaments or whatever, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, if it was on Magic Online, you'd have a clock. So yeah, eventually you can you're can concede out. at any time. You can and don't really punch people. Time. Hopefully, don't hopefully really, that's yeah, clear. We don't, we don't, <laughs> we, we don't need someone punching someone out and be like, "Oh, the Commander Clash podcast told me to." Maybe maybe next time they have a five color deck, you run Blood Moon or something. I don't know. That's that's that's. Well, we can do that's, that's a combo that's a Blood combo that's a combo mountains combo all right so this is exactly why by the way we decided to have this discussion because like we, we were coming to the end to like everything's a combo uh, we want to like a little bit define a little bit more all right so uh the four of us have presented um our own interpretation of combo versus synergy and uh you know there's there's a lot of like little nitpicks and in, in here and there um, and I want to actually uh, turn to some of the viewers, uh, or, or rather to Twitter in this case, uh, what, what they had to, to, to think about. Um, um, wait, 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 wait. These, you, you skipped why it's important to define this. There, no, there's actually so. a real reason besides oh. like internet points, right? Okay. It's, reason? Wait, what? When you sit really? down and do your power level discussion, right, before everyone concludes that their deck is a level seven or eight, right? The, the first question you ask is like, are you running combos? Are you running infinite yeah. combos, right? And that's kind of going to dictate your power level discussion. So Ugh. you should kind of agree on what a combo is. Otherwise, none of this makes any sense, right? So there is some like actual real reason for the community to agree on a combo definition, right? So I totally agree with you that that's something that's brought up a lot in regards to power levels. But I so vehemently, vehemently, I don't know, vehemently, <laughs> behemoth, creator. I think the first okay, one yes. closer, yeah. <laughs> you know that word. I don't know. I've I've actually never said it. I've just written it Vehement. down before. <laughs> vehemently. Uh, let us know in the comment section below how you would pronounce it. Anyway, <laughs> that word. Um, I I so agree, disagree with it because I feel like I feel like uh, combo, like the idea of combo, is such like a boogeyman in Commander. But I think. Like combo finishers are just there's such a big variety of how powerful a combo can be. Just like there is any sort of finisher in Commander, so I feel like saying, "Oh, does my deck have combos?" Oh, yes. If it, if yes, then it's therefore more powerful, inherently powerful. I don't think that's a, that's agreeable. What if my my combo is like an eight card combo that requires like fifty two mana? You know, like that that card. It's probably objectively much worse than if I was just like I play eight eight vanilla creatures and hit you with it, like. Um, but so I mean, if, if you I, have a two card that. combo in your deck, how janky could your deck be? Well, it also depends on the type of two card combo. Like if both of them, the hypothetical combo, both cost like ten mana, and you have to hard cast both of them uh, for them to to even go off, and then maybe you have to deal combat damage first for your for your combo to even do well, anything. Like there could be so many steps and 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 various ways you can interact with a two card combo, and how difficult it is for it to even pull off. Like, I mean, so. Like example, like the what, what's the merfolk where you champion a merfolk or a, a, or a wizard? Wander Brian, something, yeah, something. The infinite wandering turn prophets, one. yeah, like and it connects, and you have to do infinite turns. If you have a Nala, you get to keep doing this over and over, right? So mm-hmm. would you like? I, I I don't know. I think that definitely is important to know. I guess which combo it is that is true because that combo I used to have that in my Nala deck, and I was like, wow, this is, this is pretty busted. Of course you did. <laughs> this of course you did. Pretty busted. <laughs> monster <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I, do, I, I do think the type of combo does matter on power level because yeah two but two card combos are usually pretty powerful regardless 
That's even a one card combo because it oh, doesn't yeah. even need to be on the battlefield. She's just in the command zone and thanks to <laughs> Eminence. Great mechanic, by the way. Much, much appreciated, Watsi. Um, it's literally a one card combo. I hate it so much. I mean, There's remember no- remember a few weeks ago when we had Alphabet Week and I was playing the deck that was trying to surgically extract all the Shadowborn Apostles with Sir Conrad out? That's, That's a, a combo. Card. That wins the game. But there, if I sat down at a random play group and they put me at an eight because... <laughs> Because I might surgically extract my Shadowborn Apostles from the graveyard, I'm going to get absolutely stomped. So I, I think I agree with Tomer that, like, just, like, do you, you have you a combo in your deck though, is not right? a great shortcut. But you know but, what they mean, right? Like, like, just look at the Moto interface, right? What do you see? No CDH, right? You see no combos, no infinites, no MLD. Like, those are no, very no prim. No common prim. No things. Prim. No <laughs> Hall Breacher. Play any of those. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a very common marker that people use to determine like how salty they'll be if you guys sit together, right? Like, I, I, I think so would people I mean, be salty if I joined my that game and I got them at surgical so. extraction, like, Shadowborn Apostle? Right, but I think if you sat down and you like Kiki Jiki Zealous Conscripts, and you're like, well, that was ten mana. We had eighty <laughs> turns to play. It's fine, guys. I think people would be mad, right? Like they I, if they said no combos and you showed up with that, like. They'd be mad. It's like, if you put it's, 20 cards together and combo off, they'd be like, okay, I guess, right? We we need a power t- uh, tier list of combos that then can oh, influence no. oh, the tier list of deck. An, an S tier. Yeah. And then an 8. <laughs> and then a 1. Exactly. My, yeah. my we thing, need an extra I, step. I, I, <laughs> I feel like ahead, I feel like you can roll into one of those one of those tables and be like, all right, no combos, no infinites, no X, Y, Z, and then like I play like freaking elf ball or something, and I create a hoof you on turn five or whatever, and it it's like, well, I I, I meet met all your stipulations, you know, I did exactly what you wanted. Turn five crater <laughs> hoof, like screw you, <laughs> uh, like. That, that's why I just don't like this. I feel like it's just like this, uh, what is it? Not misconception, but like people poo-poo? No, you know the word. I'm so bad today. I don't know what's up with me. You think Maybe. people have an irrational hate prejudice. for combos. They have a prejudice right? against the word combo and the yeah. idea of combos. Whereas combos, I see them as just like any any other sort of finisher at any table. They vary in strength like any other sort of one. And people are scared of the, the more effective ones. But like if you bring in a jank combo, I don't think people should be like, oh, no combos at this table, you know, just because I'm going to... Can, can we go meta? Is, is one card a combo? No. If I just wait till turn combo. 10 in Insurrection and win the be. game on the spot, is that a combo? Ah, it, it combos with your opponent's creatures. Yeah, ah. it's a one, one, card win, <laughs> one card win con right there, right? Yeah. I, yeah. I think a combo's got to have more than more than one card. I think, like, yeah. by definition, like, it's a combination <laughs> of cards. <laughs> yeah. Well, it combines your one card with all your opponent's creatures, and thus... <laughs> Then so, like, a six-mana yeah. card that says, I win the game, just straight up, is not a combo. Approach that of the Second Sun is not a combo. Yeah, but, but like, an eight-mana one called Expropriate does say, I win the game. Is that, is that a combo? <laughs> <laughs> but wouldn't every a finisher combo. be a combo, then, if we went that direction? Wouldn't, yeah, I don't like, like your opponent's at one life and you attack with a... <laughs> but, but it's like... Or elves be a combo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, right? Like, there, there's... If you resolve this spell, the chances of you winning the game are 100% because it literally says, I win the game, <laughs> right? So is that not, like, why why bother doing Oracle Consultation that could get stifled or something when I can play this thing that, like, just literally wins the game? Isn't that more powerful than a combo? It is more powerful than well, a combo. We call it a combo. Is it a combo? a combo? It's, like, somehow <laughs> less cards and better and, like, worse for the play table, right? I think, I think it's totally I think... not a combo. I would, I would, I would never consider uh, one card a combo. I would because I would, I in my brain when I see combo, I look, I say combination. Okay, so, so it, like, has, it to has to be two, two plus. Is there an For upper me. bound on the number of cards then? <laughs> no. If I go to six cards, do we still call it a combo? <laughs> It's it's still a combo. It's probably not yeah. a good combo, but it is still a, it is still technically a combo. <laughs> is okay. So is is Maze's End and Ten Guild Gates a combo? Yes, it's just a bad yes. combo. Yeah, it's, it's, right. If we say there's yeah. no upper limit to it, then yeah, it's just a really okay. slow combo that takes a lot of turns. 
Is it a combo if the card literally says what it's supposed to be assembled to do, though? Like, it says if you have 10 guild gates on the battlefield, you win the game. Like, it's written on the actual card itself. Yeah. Is yeah, Does not? that... Maze's is End is tough. Week? I kind of I kind of feel like that's just a one card combo. Maybe it's because it's lands and you got to play lands From anyway. Maze's End Escape Shift would be a combo. Yeah, that would be a combo. But is just Maze's End and having 10 gates in your deck, is that actually a combo? The combo is 10 gates and the Maze's End, right? You need to get all those cards and play them. Yeah. It's just they yeah. cost you a land drop instead of mana, right? Well, the, uh, yeah, yeah. Maze's End to me is definitely a, just a 10-piece combo. But it does it's, win guess, the game really slowly. Does that qualify under the, like, you got to be winning the game sooner? Or are we just counting, like, when you once you get to nine gates, the 10th one when you activate it? it, it it's like, so you slow quickly. that the likelihood of interaction is very high. So, like, is five birds coat of arms a combo? No. no. It's, like, no. so slow, and there's, like, so many points of interaction where it can fall apart that you don't consider it. And Maze's End is kind of like that, unless you scape shift into it. Like, you, there's, like eight turns or someone well, can interact with this to stop it. I yeah. would also say that like, uh, I would also say like coat of arms plus like five birds or whatever, you'll have like six sixes or whatever. If they're one ones. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of damage, but it doesn't, okay, okay. it doesn't guarantee eight winning birds, game. whatever. Let's say one shots, one person. Right? Sure. <laughs> Even if yeah, you had a hundred birds, I, that's not a combo. hundred birds. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think, I don't yeah. think it's a combo. Because it's very easy to interact, right? Removal on the coat of arms, a sweeper at any point, spot removal, blockers, etc. Well, that would be interesting because then would we say like eight card combos that are inherently really easy to to interact with? Is is are we going to be factoring our opponent's ability to interact with our combo to de define whether or not a combo is a combo? Like are this are bad combos no longer combos because they're bad? <laughs> I I I don't think so. They're still a my, combo uh, even if they're an awful combo. <laughs> my problem with the birds thing is that's just what coat of arms does. Like yeah. I don't even see. I yeah. don't even know if I consider that a synergy. It's just like it's Cathar's Crusade <laughs> well, a combo. I, I it's just well, like yeah, you play it, the, the same combos tribe. of creatures. There, there was a stipulation on it. <laughs> Yeah, I but just the, think it's a, it's a is synergy. A, is, a, every, is every lord a combo? Because you're playing it with a bunch of, like, every single lord of Atlantis is a combo because you got <laughs> so, other so Murphy. So you're and, saying, you're going back to Tomer's point then, if it says that's what the card is supposed to do, it's not a combo. So Maze's End is not a combo because it literally says what it's supposed to do on the card. I feel like it's a one the one card thing is what it hits for me. I feel like you just can't count the random things that are going to be in your deck anyway as combo. But it's not one card. If I surgically extract one of your guild gates out, you have no combo anymore, right? Like, you actually oh. needed the other ones, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. We I no win I condition about, anymore. Yeah. I, I would just say it's a win condition. It's not a combo. It wins the game, but... Uh, I see. I, I wouldn't call it a combo. I would just call it a finisher. But scape hmm. shift, Maze's End is a combo. Yes. I, I presume, assuming yes. you have enough lands to, like, scape shift. Yeah, this. scape shift, Maze's End, plus... Enough lands to pull out the gates. I that makes consider. sense. Okay, yeah, I, I, I'll, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I, I would also say like it would, it would still require like another card to win the game immediately, because I mean the mazes end would have to be untapped for you to to, to pull it off. So we yeah. like need like amulet of vigor or something, or a way to flash it at end of turn to win on your next upkeep. Um, like you win that. within a turn though, so I, I'm yeah, willing to give it a turn. The reason that I'm willing to give that a, uh, like a little leeway is there's a lot of infinite creature combos where you like make an infinite board of creatures, but you need another turn for them to not be summoning sick and attack. And I think it would be silly to not consider those combos because they have such a big impact on the game. So I think with uh, winning with suspend one still has to has to qualify, or else a lot of things that seem really obvious to be like two card combos that do something huge wouldn't actually qualify under that definition. All right. What if you don't well, win the game for 50 turns? Like you knowledge <laughs> pool to fairy someone. That's a lock. Oh. That's synergy. Is, that's is a lock, lock a combo? Yeah. No, that's just mm. synergy. Because it's I not mean, winning, you, right? Like it's, it's but, you, but yeah. you've effectively you won, right? The assumption is that like there's very little chance that anyone can get out from under this. Not so. entirely. What if you mill out before the rest of the table does? So that yeah, I yeah. I would consider it a combo. 
What I, if you lose to the board state? Right, like, what if you just do this and and the board has? Well, I guess I guess we're. Well, what if you storm off and someone lightning yeah, yeah, bolts yeah, you yeah, in yeah, response? Yeah, yeah. Right, like, I don't. Right, know. That's, yeah, <laughs> like, that's not fair. That's not fair. Um, I would say this is just it. Like, it, like it would be a very powerful. Like locks are just very strong synergies. Yeah. That's because they're not outright winning the game. I don't think because, like, example, like nine lives and like solemnity. I consider that a lock, but not exactly a combo. But what if it what if it really does essentially win the game like Karn Lattice, where it's like, I'm sure you can sit there a whole bunch more turns and wait for someone to beat you down, but you literally cannot do anything. Still a lot zero percent chance to win. Like to me, that feels like a combo. The, and if it's not a combo, it's only not a combo because the other people in the game are too stubborn to concede when they should. I, I, <laughs> like I if think I sat down at a table me. and we were like no combos, and then you Karn Lattice me, I would. I'd be raising some eyebrows, right? Like, uh, I mean, I don't know if I would raise an eye. I wouldn't even blink at that, really. That, that's uh, come on. It's not a combo. I'm not, I mean, now I'm not even you, sure about that. Yeah, if you we counted that as a combo on the stats sheet, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Ah, well, okay. That that's. I don't know. I, I could see why you would be salty, but I don't see why. <laughs> it's gonna, two cards. I win the game just I'm 50 turns it, from now, right? I'm going to call it a combo because I don't want Richard to be like, he looks at the, the game lobby on Magic Online. And he's like, oh, no combos, eh? My <laughs> <laughs> ghost is Lattice Karn time. <laughs> is I mean, if you knowledge pool the fairies puzzle box someone and they say no combos, that... It that was? <laughs> That is not a pro gamer move. Like you should not be doing that, right? So that's, I think we have to call them combos. Yeah, but that, that's what this is for, right? So that we can kind of split the difference there, where it's not a combo, let, let, like, right? Because I I think that that isn't. It is not a combo. How are you so be no combos, you? no hard locks. Yes. I yeah. Feel like a, I feel like an absolute lock would be a, a combo because, like, if it's like if it wins the game. Like your opponent's like slowly losing the game with no way of winning means you do win the game. It's just slow. So it is nine lives solemnity a combo? No, because mm. that's that's pretty soft. I think like or mm. uh, I don't know. I lean towards I, that being a synergy. I, I like the idea of combos being like if they have to win the game, they have to win the game on the spot. I mean that would get around the whole hard lock argument thing too. Like like so then yeah, like decree of silence plus solemnity. Is that a combo or a lock? Like I think that's just very synergistic, right? Because you can technically still beat that. How does, just like well, how you I can mean, still technically beat Karn Lattice Lock. You can beat any combo. You can technically though, right? beat every combo, beat combo if you have but the right card. I just like I feel like yeah, locks and, and whatnot like that aren't they don't end the game. Okay. They don't actually end the game right there. I They prolong the suffering. They prolong the suffering, yes. <laughs> Interesting. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, we're going to have a lot of uh, uh, examples. Uh, before we, we jump into those examples, I, I went to Twitter uh, in preparation and research of this podcast, and I asked online what people thought uh, the definition of synergy versus combo was. Um, and it picked up. It got traction. It got a lot of people uh, uh, giving their own definitions. And to my surprise, I was expecting like a hundred, like a hundred replies and a hundred different, uh, different definitions. It actually seemed like there were quite uh, a lot of the same answers. Um, so I tried to pick up some of the different ones, um, and I, w I won't reveal like which one was the most popular of the bunch. But uh, the first one was. Uh, synergy is when two or more cards interact to reduce the cost or amplify the effect of any of the components. So it's like the sum greater, whole greater than the sum, whatever, the, the thing. Sum 41. Um, sum 41, <laughs> great yep. band. Um, a, a combo is a sequence of card interactions that is self-sustaining in a way that allows you to repeat them. What do you think about that? Ah, uh, but I mean... Uh, I, that, that's I, like so, infinite combos or something, right? Yeah, that, that might be a subset of combos, but that would cross off like scape shift for a million valicuts and mountains I mean, and win the game on the spot, which or is out, right? would not be a that's combo. Not, yeah, uh, so it'd be synergy. infinite combos. I, I would, I would say that's probably a reasonable definition of infinite combos, but I think it doesn't include enough. 
Well, it doesn't it not necessarily have to be infinite. Like you could do, for example, um, a myriad the sky ruin. Um, so it's like at the beginning of your upkeep, you have seven more planes on the battlefield. Uh, you can return a creature from a graveyard to the battlefield. Um, so that would be a combo based on this definition. That's right? not self-sustaining like, though, right? Because you run out of planes. No, you just have to have seven planes on the battlefield. But you run out of creatures. Don't you have the landfall? Oh, you would run out of this creatures. Is the, to, are you talking about the landfall no. one or the land from Zendikar? No, no, Zendikar? Amiria Skyruin. It's just oh, that, seven planes. Oh, yeah. Just if you have seven, do it. Yeah. 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 Amiria Skyruin. Uh, it ends the battlefield tap. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control seven or more planes, you may return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's just synergy. Mm. That'd be a combo. I, I, I would assume I guess, maybe, the way but... the way I read that uh, definition is immediately. Like when it says yeah. repeat them, I'm imagining like right now again and again and again. Not like oh, like next turn I can do this again or whatever. Like you know, so, like, tapping my tapper or something. Like tapping my Llanowar elves the next turn. Like right. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm kind of assuming they were going for is like repeat immediately. Which would cross Amiri off the list because you're doing it once a turn, not like you can't repeat it again right now. Oh. So I will say I did get clarification because I asked I asked the person, um, did they did they think Amiri is? And they said no, uh, because there's no mechanism to put creatures in your graveyard. So it wasn't that they can do it repeatedly on the you same run out turn. Of creatures. It's uh, just that you would run out of creatures eventually to, to return. Plus, if you're yeah, returning really skeletons, like... you're not getting any closer to winning the game, right? Like, <laughs> there's there's yeah. some part of winning the game in this, right? Because if I'm wandering funeral and do it a billion times, like nothing has been accomplished. Combo. <laughs> <laughs> right? All right. Fair. All right. So, so the next one is uh, combos are infinite loops or game-winning synergies. That's actually not That's, a bad definition. That makes, yeah, that, that actually checks. What's a game-winning synergy, though? That's a bit vague. Valakut? Like, yeah. Is Dowsing Skate Dagger, shift, Vesuva, a game-winning synergy? I think Thassa's <laughs> Oracle demonic, uh, demonic Consultation would be, like, the, the go-to one, right? Oh, so yeah. a synergy that wins the game right now, immediately. Right. Yeah. That's what we're saying. Because, like, okay. you, don't, you, don't, you don't repeat Thassa's Oracle uh, Demonic Consultation. Thassa's Oracle enters the battlefield, and you just win the game. But you need to have no cards in the library, and Demonic uh, Consultation removes all the cards in your library. I, I kind of like that it adds infinite loops as a as a subcategory in there because that's one of the things we were debating. Like, if you make infinite mana or can untap something an infinite number of times, but it doesn't, like, actually win the game, does that count? So I think it's a cool way to, like, get that into the definition of combo as well. Not 100% sure if I agree, but I, I do like the idea. <laughs> I agree with the definition. Um I might have put it, put it there because I like the wandering anyway. funeral says hi again. I think wandering funeral is going to end a lot of these. I think it's the exception, Wait, right? So wandering funeral, I it's have an to, infinite have to loop. Me. Yeah, it, it's a it it can be a one four or a four one. It's it's a, and, it's a right. land where you can, it can do that infinite times, right? Yeah. yeah, you can activate it and then pay zero to swap its power and toughness. You can just keep doing it. Yeah, but that's so it's a that's land, why you need the. Alpha tab. That's why you need the two or more cards. Like, you need the yes. combination of cards. So I feel like that gets around Wandering Fumeral because it's a single card. And you have it's to a... have more than one for it to be a combo. No, but you're getting infinite. Oh, I see. You add two cards. But you're getting infinite somethings, right? It's just yeah. the something is very not valuable, right? Swapping power toughness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think one. that's why I don't like one card combos. But two cards, uh, I see. I see that valid. Um, all right, moving on to the next one. Synergy is two or more cards working better than the sum of their parts. A combo wins the game. Again, it's kind of similar, a little bit different, though. This one uh, does not uh, say uh, infinite loops or combos necessarily unless they win the game. I think this one resonates with me the most uh, so far because, like, the last one does include infinite loops, which is true, but then, as I had mentioned earlier, I don't think just making infinite mana or, in, like, infinite life wins you the game. Now, if it's infinite life and then, I don't know, maybe, like, Felidar Sovereign, I, 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 sure. Something that gain, wins you the game on the spot for having infinite life or a ton of life, then, then, then it becomes a combo. So, this makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah, this actually is pretty close to my definition, too, I think. The closest out of the ones we've read so far. All right. Um, okay, so then the final one that I picked out. <laughs> Again, there's, there's a lot of similarities here. 
Uh, a combo is defined as an interaction between two or more cards that results in an infinite or near infinite interaction loop or an almost assured win. So again, it's a little bit different, uh, but you see there's like a recurring trend here, which is why I, I was surprised that uh, Twitter was so unanimous almost. I like this one the best. The, the almost yeah. assured win, I think, is very important. Uh, and I think any combination of cards that leads you to an almost assured win is a combo. Okay, yeah. I we grabbed I grabbed this definition. It was a uh, answer from Commander Spellbook, and apparently, uh, in their Discord, they have a definition of combo, and that's that's their definition that they go with. And I was like, hey, all right, we got some it got some likes, and I was like, okay, cool. Um, all right. Uh, so we discussed our definitions on uh, combo versus synergy. Uh, we talked about like the nitty gritty details of those. And now we looked at a couple of other Twitter definitions. <laughs> now we're going to take what we just discussed and we're going to put it to the test. And we're going, I, I, I we've hand selected um, some, some nuanced uh, examples. And we're going to see if they're combos or synergies, what, we, what we're going to fall upon. So we're going to start off with a really tough one. Uh, this is two islands and a counter spell. Combo. A counter spell being double Combo. blue. To counter target <laughs> target spell, so the, the islands they make the blue mana, and then you can use the blue mana to cast counter spell, which is, oh boy, <laughs> very no. much so synergistic. <laughs> I, I don't even know if that's a synergy. <laughs> it is, you know, it is because you've got the two islands right, and then you cast counter spell, and then it synergizes with the tears of the table. <laughs> the <land's> producing <laughs> mana to cast a spell that means every literally everything's a synergy i know i, I just can't buy it i can't buy it because you gotta have mana for basically every card yeah i don't and then like that everything either. would be a synergy <laughs> and then it means I mean, nothing no but I it's mean, synergized everything is a synergy though your, yeah. your opponent's tears maybe you're if it's not then part. it's a pile of cards which maybe we play sometimes but <laughs> usually <laughs> it's a like a deck has like a curve it's synergistic with your mana base all your spells are on the right color <laughs> so technically synergies but when people talk about synergies, they probably mean like stronger synergies, right? Than just I would say casting spells. I would say technically this is pro more. If I had to choose between the two, this is a synergy. <laughs> okay, it's not I, a yeah, combo. I'm Next, all, I'm glad <laughs> I don't even know if it's a synergy. All right, a little bit, a little bit tougher, a little bit tougher. Forest and Arbor Elf. You see, not only does the forest cast Arbor Elf, much like the counter spell. However. The Arbor Elf has this unique ability that it can tap to untap target forest. Boom. Wow. No. Voila. No. No. What, it, what, I, again, what about forest plus land. Utopia sprawl on it plus Arbor Elf? That's synergy. It can be a combo, though, because you're not a uh, synergy. Yeah, but it can be a combo because yeah. you're not winning the game with it or even coming close. So I think I don't even without Utopia well, sprawl. I don't even consider a synergy. Yeah. With Utopia Sprawl, I'll grant you synergy, but I don't see any way to get combo out of it. You might get a combo because if it kills a player at the table, right, that's a combo. And since it's a forest, I might just concede. <laughs> 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 <So> <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. All right. All right. Now we're getting a, a little bit tougher territory. Those those were just a little like dip or toe in the discourse. Uh, we're going to move on to another one uh, that has been called combo quite often, at least um, in my basic understanding of modern. Um, this is going to be a Valakut, the Molten Pinnacle. Uh, this is a land. It enters the battlefield tap, and it says whenever a mountain enters the battlefield under your control, if you control at least five other mountains, you may have Valakut deal three damage to any target. So the way it works is you have Valakut on the battlefield, um, and then when... Uh, a mountain enters the battlefield. If you have five or more uh, mountains already on the battlefield, um, you deal three damage. Um, and this is a repeatable uh, uh, thingamajigger. Uh, what, what do you guys think about that? This is synergy. Is combo synergy. This is definitely synergy. It doesn't become you a combo until shift. you scape shift. Yeah. If, if you don't scape shift, it takes you seven additional mountains and seven turns deploying them one by one to you, for you to kill someone, right? If you scape shift, it all happens instantly once. and someone dies yeah right so you do yeah. need to escape shifts although how much damage uh, well because you can't get two valakut so one valakut on seven mana you want to do it about around seven so then it checks that way it's like what's so usually one mana. valakut six lands will kill yeah. someone with shocks but sometimes you might need like not, the additional land commander. or something 
yeah commander yeah. this is you need way too many lands yeah it it's could be still, a combo if you had like 40 lands on the battlefield you or something. like a Vesuvius but, yeah. with a copy of the Valkut. Yeah. yeah. I, so I think that, yeah, it, without the scape shift, it can't be a combo. What about like, well, Primeval Titan's banned, but what about other things that get lands but not to the point of scape shift? Is there anything in between that can rise to the level of combo or no? Synergy. Prime time. <laughs> Would um, that be a combo if it was legal? That's like wow. a decent amount of damage. Are there not, lands you can tutor up to take someone. additional combats or something to kill someone? Like, no, right? You can, well, you can just get some value and go back around the table, right? Take the modern amulet, uh, right? Like, it, it plays the double striking land with the titan, something like that, right? And, like, the Boros uh, guild gate to come with it and then amulet, right? That That's still, to me, very synergistic. Uh, well, I guess it does. If it can kill you right there, then like if they get the double striking land and you're dead, then that I guess that would be a combo. Okay, so by but, itself, it's a synergy. But if yeah. you added a way to add a lethal amount of mountains equal like a lethal amount of burn right. via putting a bunch of mountains on the battlefield at the same time, like scape shift, then it's a combo. Yeah, okay. context yeah. matters, right? In commander, yeah. it's very hard to scape shift someone for forty life. Right, so in commander, generally you don't think of this as a combo, but one v one twenty life is much more doable. Yeah. What if you replace okay. Valakut Mountains with Mazes End Five Guild Gates? <laughs> they have a very... It's the same. If you got this game, it's wins. a combo. If you don't, it's not. Yeah. You, need, you need ten. Yeah, you're right. I'm not gonna let yeah. it. I'm not gonna let it die. <laughs> okay. You need the scape shift. I agree with that. I agree. Hey. With that. Yeah. Oh, I won. Okay. It's too we, slow. We can carry on. <laughs> Wait, I, I'm the arbiter of, of winning or losing? I mean, I'll take Apparently. that power. <laughs> All right, I'll blame this on Tomer now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have decreed. It. I have decreed it shall be so. Um, I don't, okay, uh, next one. Next one we got. Um, this is a classic combo that we don't really see that much in Commander anymore, but it used to be a, a, a big thing. Uh, this is Thopter Foundry plus Sword of the Meek combo. Uh, I'm not even going to call it a combo because we're debating it. Uh, Thopter Foundry and Sword of the Meek. Thopter Foundry is an artifact that says you pay one, you sacrifice a non-token artifact to create a 1-1 one, one, uh, Thopter artifact creature token and you gain one life. And then um, Sword of the Meek says... Uh, it creep creature gets uh, it's an equipment it's an artifact equipment and it says whenever a 1-1 one, one enters the battlefield under your control you may return Sword of the Meek from your graveyard to the battlefield and attach it to that creature so the way this works is you pay one mana uh, one colorless mana to Thopter Foundry and you sacrifice Sword of the Meek which is a non-token artifact and that will make a 1-1 one, one Thopter artifact creature token uh, with the Thopter, and then when you make that 1-1 one, one creature, sort of the Mink returns itself from the graveyard to the battlefield equipped to it. So for every single one mana you, you spend, uh, you get to repeat this process over and over again, making, you know, uh, as many as many Thopters and gaining as much life as you have mana to do so. Do you consider this a combo or a synergy? Or I, neither? In Commander, I would say this is just synergy. Until you have, like, let's say an infinite mana or some way to kill somebody, like, pinging them every time a creature's entering. Or, or yeah, like, Time Sieve, right? Where you take infinite turns and then you just lock them out. But as of just the two pieces together in Commander, to me, it's a comp, uh, synergy. Yeah, I agree with Kram. If you throw in Urza or something to make it go truly infinite and make infinite Thopters... Then sure, then it's a combo. But with just making like five or six or ten, however many lands you have or mana you have, I don't think that rises to the level of combo, especially in commander when you got three opponents at forty life. Like that would just gonna take four or five turns of spending all your mana on Thopters to maybe you know, like kill yeah. people. So I think that's just too slow to be a combo. So are you saying it's not a combo in one v one? 1v1 is interesting. I, I still right. kind of lean towards it being a synergy until you add Urza into the mix or something Same. similar. Like, like it's implied that if you can just dump all your mana, make 1-1 one, one, one flyers and gain one life, that you are very likely to win the game, right? It's implied. And maybe but with if you... today's power level, that's no longer a thing. You do mm -hmm. that and they're like, okay, untap. I do a real combo yeah. where I win on the spot <laughs> you lose. <laughs> Right, but just like you could infinite life and still lose the game, I don't think that takes away from the combo, right? So I still think this is a combo one v one because you are very likely to win the game 
when you pull this off. But in Commander, it's like, eh, right? Well, like, it doesn't do it as much, so... In 1v1, this, I don't know, this this still just feels like it's just very synergistic to me. Because it is feel- equal to the number of mana you can make, and that's definitely something you can get around. Like, it, in especially, let's say, modern, a braid and effects like that run rampant, right? So they could yeah. just easily answer it because you can't kill them on the spot unless you can so, go infinite. So power level format matters. Would you consider this a combo like 10 years ago or whatever when it was actually like good? I would, I would say, yeah, 10 years ago, this was a combo, maybe. Yeah, no, mm. it would still be synergistic just by the design. But, but like, you, yeah. you most likely won if you did this like 10 years ago, right? Nowadays I mean, in modern, I'd... people untap and kill you. <laughs> but mm. like back then, like you probably won, right? Playing this ten years ago, it was considered a combo. Yeah, but I would still... I wouldn't consider it a combo even in modern. Too too like slow. it just it requires like... a lot of mana, right? Like you're you're not making an infinite board sit or anything. It's you don't need so infinite. Hard. So the reason you need infinites in commander is because you have hundred and twenty life to get through between yeah. three people, right? Right. In one v one, you have twenty life. So I just need like ten thopters in two turns, and you're dead, right? So we don't really need the. The infinite mana in 1v1. Uh, it doesn't win immediately, though. I don't know. I like it when it wins immediately. Or it produces something infinite. So I, I would say no, unless you added a third card that like lets you go infinite. Yeah. Right. Once you so this is the thing that card. most people call a combo, though, right? So this is problematic. This is why, yeah, this is why. Right? We people it, will call this a it. combo. Yeah. yeah. I'm definitely in synergy territory. This, yeah, but yeah, that's why it's going to get harder. Like we're this, the, we did the baby stuff first, but oof, this is a progressive ladder of, of gray area, which is great. So next one is uh, one that uh, I would <laughs> say is like the premier like uh, CDH what what people call combo. Uh, this is Thassa's Oracle and Demonic Consultation. So for people who don't know uh, what these two cards do, Thassa's Oracle basically says when it enters the battlefield. Um, if you have if you have two or less uh, cards in your library, uh, you win the game. And uh, demonic consultation is a one mana black instant, uh, that says you choose a card name, um, and then you just like exile cards until you reveal that card and put it into your hand. The trick here is you just name something that isn't in your deck, so you just exile your entire library. Boom, you have no library. Thassa's Oracle resolves. And you just win the game with essentially battlefield trigger. It's like the most powerful CDH combo right now in Commander. Um, would we consider this a combo or a synergy? This is very much so a combo. Obviously, uh, obvious combo. Yeah, this one wins on the spot. It's you know got the two moving parts as you you're <laughs> always like afraid of when it comes to combo stuff. It was so good that it's even banned out of historic and other stuff too. So, uh, this this is just definitely a combo. This is the best combo of all time. Yeah, right? yeah. because it's very hard to interact with, right? Like the the trigger goes off, the trigger goes off, right? Like you you can't deal with it. It's consultation's instant speed. It's three mana. It's two cards. They're in synergistic colors, like blue blue black are like very good colors that have a lot of backup for combos you and and all the pieces that. are useful without the other piece you can just play a naked oracle if you felt like it and get value right same with consultation yeah. right like these these pieces are not utterly useless by themselves so i think this is the best combo possibly like ever printed right like i wonder if anyone's ever just it's won not infinite with like a ton of devotion <laughs> sure, like they sure have like 70 happened. devotion <laughs> yeah does like master of ways if you copy ma- no wait oh the, the tokens don't matter actually. tokens don't but, yeah. yeah there might be ways to cheese out devotion though i'm sure seth has had against odds on it or something there's, there's been some good standard decks where you get your devotion up to like 30 or more so i'm sure there's ways in commander that you could get your Com- devotion up to like 60 or 70 commander seems hard because you're gonna get a massive board of people gonna start taking it away or killing you that's or that's you just true. Be, you have a massive board so you just win the game. I mean, you sure? <laughs> you sure you have hope a risk so? Study that doesn't get removed or whatever. And <laughs> All you, you need is like right of replication, a token doubler, uh, or something, and something with lots of blue in it, right? And then you're probably yeah. there. It's just some simic value engine. All right, so that that easy consensus. This this one's a combo, not a synergy. 
Uh, next one. This one we 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 ah. kind of touched upon before. Uh, this is basalt monolith plus rings of bright earth. Basalt monolith says. Uh, I think it's like. Mm, mm. One second. Basalt monolith says it's a, it's an artifact. It says it doesn't untap during your untap step. You can tap it for three mana, and you can pay three to untap basalt monolith. So by itself, you could just like pay three mana, use that three mana to untap it over and over again. You don't make any mana, but you're doing that over and over again, which is kind of cool. Um, but when you add Rings of Bright Hearth to it, this is a three mana artifact that says, uh, when you activate an ability, if it's not a mana ability, you may pay two if you do copy that ability. Um, so the way this works is you tap the Salt Mana for three mana, you use its activated ability, uh, spending three mana to untap it, then you uh, Rings of Bright Hearth triggers on that untap, you pay an additional two, and uh, you will get to untap uh, rings of uh, basalt monolith an next an extra time. So you tap the basalt monolith for three. You untap it once, um, and then you untap you tap it again, and you you untap it once more or something like that. You make you make one mana off this basically. Net one one colorless mana each time you're doing this little thing, Majigger. So it makes infinite mana. It doesn't win the game though. What what do you all think about this? Is it a combo or is it a synergy? Synergy. Not a, not a combo until you add in a, a yeah. win condition. Once you add a win condition, then it becomes a combo. But by itself, synergy. Yeah, this is just a very powerful synergy. I think it's a combo. Like Even you are very likely game? to win, and you are very likely to have the piece. Yeah, I mean, of course, if you put this in your deck and you have no real mana sink, like what are you doing, <laughs> right? But again, if I sat down at a table and we said no combos, and I <laughs> like put out a basalt model with rings, I'm like, hey guys, I don't have a win con. It's not a combo. Like I don't think right. it's gonna go well, right? I think most people will be like, that's a combo. It's infinite mana, right? Kill them what, immediately, what, right? What if you're just like a what if you're just like a big mana artifact deck? What if you're like Kozilek or something and you don't have any combos, but you're just like cheating out big Eldrazi with this? Well, well can you talk to me you for playing works. a combo but not actually finishing the deed, right? <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know. Is right? that invalidated from not being a combo if you don't have a way to, to close out the game immediately? You just have like big Eldrazi Titans? Yeah, if you're just I mean, playing if, big Eldrazi Titans, I, unless you're infinitely chaining them or bouncing, or I, that's just synergistic to me. So. I think that's good. How about I'd, perception I'd of power, a not actual power? Like, because you have infinite mana, everyone thinks you're about to win the game, even if you're not because you didn't actually put any finishers in, so it still counts as a combo. Well, there's still finishers. They just don't win the game on the spot. Well, that's what I mean, attack. right? Like, you like, don't have a was... real mana sink, or you, you, know, if... you, you cast skeletons off of this, right? But you did make infinite mana, so what everyone is like... really afraid of you. What if you, like, cheated out all the culture pieces, and then you have, like, a big old, like... Then you've done no? very little with your infinite mana. 14, 14. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I'm just... triple. I'm going to attack you with this, crib. Okay. <laughs> I've, just seen, I've just seen infinite mana combos fizzle so much in modern that unless you have the the actual finisher, it's hard for me to give it like the full combo rating. Because yeah. there's like a lot of modern decks that are built around like, oh, I play Vizier Remedies. I play Devoted Druid. I make infinite mana. And you don't just scoop to that because... A lot of some percentage of the time they actually just don't have anything and, yeah. and don't do anything. They make forty mana and then pass the turn. And you're like, oh, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's fine. Like, I, go, I, I think that's I think that's <laughs> fine though. Like we, we were talking about Storm, and it's like sometimes they just you know do a bunch of things and they fizzle out. Well, Storm doesn't fizzle. I make, make infinite mana. I, trust me, Cream. I've I've fizzled. Did, okay, my time. No, I have <laughs> seen a fizzle, but it's like possible. it's possible. Very if you're bad enough. Corner anything can happen. Cases. Oftentimes, Storm will not fizzle. So, I mean, what, what if you two cards card draw your whole then? deck without winning? What is that a combo? Drawing. Two cards draw your whole deck into your hand. Is that a combo? It depends. It depends. On how you yeah. Like, it. what are you gonna do? Like, example. It. I think if you draw your whole deck, that's great news. Uh, but, <laughs> but the thing here is, unless you have something like that's Jace Wielder of Mystery or something like that. I would assume or, that if you're doing that, yeah, you you're have doing, a way to win the game, and it will be a combo, but I don't right. just think the act of that by itself is a combo. I'm getting more confused as we keep talking. I thought we were pretty, <laughs> I, I, I thought we I, were pretty, well, like, solidified. Okay, what if I, I have a plague engineer out, and you split a twin? Is that a so, combo? 
So Wait, my it's favorite win the definition. Game. It's, yeah, it's my favorite the definition game. was the last one, where it, where it defined uh, interaction between two or more cards that result in an infinite or near infinite interaction uh, interaction loop or, or an almost assured win. So like, I think it, it doesn't ha- it doesn't have to win the game. It just has to be two or more cards, and if they do it, inf- it could be either just like an infinite loop or it wins the game. But drawing like your deck isn't one. an infinite loop. You no, well, it depends deck. on how you did it. You, like, if you drew your deck off an infinite, it, off like Rings of Bright Hearth into Blue Sun Zenith for infinite mana or whatever. No, but you could just two cards, draw your deck, and then Oracle. Right? The assumption is there's an Oracle in there, right? But there's also the possibility that someone gaunted your Oracle and you just drew your deck and you're about to mill, right? Maybe, but like, so, how do you draw your deck? You just, I would, like, have like, just add Oracle to the list and- then. It's just like a three card combo. Like that's fine. Yeah. Like there's nothing wrong yeah. with that. But that's just a, it's a three card combo instead of a two card. That's how I kind of think of it. Like yep. it, rather than being a two card, it two it, two cards it's a synergy. It's a two so, card so synergy. In, infinite and a life combo. is not a combo because it doesn't win. But infinite damage is a combo because it yeah. wins. I, I would yes. say infinite life is a combo. Though. But infinite life is a combo. I, I don't. I don't consider infinite life a combo. I mean, I I've watched people have infinite life and then lose because they got. For but you can always lose, right? Like you could no. oracle a consultation, and I bolt you with that on the stack, and you lose. I'm like, is that not a combo? <laughs> right? I mean, like you can always lose doing your combo. Uh, yes, you can always lose doing your combo, but infinite life does not win the game, right? Like, so uh, that's why the second one synergy is two or more cards working better than the sum of their parts. The combo wins the game. That does not win the game. So, so we disagree. You, you have yeah. to hundred percent win the game, not almost assuredly, right? Whatever yeah, that just, means. Ninety five percent doesn't count. Our- we're disagreeing with her definitions. Like, Krim is correct. Like, his definition is a combo is something that wins the game. So, you just make infinite life, you haven't won the game. Especially in Commander, where yeah. so many of the finishers are not related to beating you down to zero life. Like, you're just like, you know. Commander damage is but, great. But 1v1 so is almost life. assuredly, right? Yeah, like, in 1v1, it's Depending on the matchup, it's 100%. and other matchups, yeah. it's some percentage, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I guess I guess Crim's definition changes based on you know the the, the whatever format he's playing. Right. Like it could be a combo in modern, should, but it's not. But again, commander. when should you it, sit down at a table and we said no infinites, and I hate talking, infinite life, commander. and I'm like, but that's just a synergy that gave yeah. me a lot of life, guys. <laughs> like this would not yeah. go well at all, right? This would no, not can, go well at all. What? Can your opponent's deck impact whether or not it's a combo? Like, is infinite life only a combo against decks that? can't be infinite life but if your opponent has emerical in their deck that can be infinite life or whatever it's not a combo like does that play into it at all does a matchup matter no because no. the thing here is the, it's the action i'm not even accounting for what yeah. you, like the thing here is the action itself infinite life doesn't do anything it right? does not win the game especially in commander like if we're if we're just sticking to commander infinite life doesn't do anything because you can take commander damage so you can, uh, but the thing here is, what if your commander can't attack? Like you have a planeswalker commander. I still don't. I I don't think I've actually won with damage. <laughs> so like, <laughs> <laughs> let's just go with that. I usually win from just like milling out the table or something silly like that, right? So I don't think infinite life matters all that much, and it, that's why infinite damage, however, does end the game or end somebody's game. So that on its own works for me it seems so okay. weird i, I to think me to you have to it. take into account the majority of decks like it can't be in a vacuum right because like something like in commander infinite life is not as important because there are so many alternate win cons but in 1v1 it it is almost surely a win right yes there's some alternate win cons but they're not as common Right, but I, I don't think we can be like, well, nothing is a combo unless we know your exact opponents <laughs> and we know exactly what interaction pieces they're playing before we make the call. Right, we gotta be able to mm. make a call based on the general meta game, which I think makes sense because we said Thopter Sword was a combo ten years ago where nobody could do anything about it, but nowadays they just laugh it off, right? It's because Some the meta say. has changed, right? Some say. I still think it's a synergy. <laughs> Unless yeah. you add Urza or some third factor into it. So it, it seems like we're, we're pretty much consistent on what we think is a combo or synergy. You just, we, some of us are disagreeing on that definition. Like we have different definitions on what the, those are, but we're consistent based on those definitions. Um, all right. So we have a bunch of examples. I'm going to do like two more. Uh, some of them are, I'm just going to skip over because we've already discussed them. Um, there's one that I thought was kind of interesting. 
Um, Niv Mizzet plus Curiosity. Is it a combo or a, or a synergy? Uh, Niv Mizzet, for people who don't know, it's a big old legendary Is it Dragon. And uh, the, the newest one, a Niv Mizzet uh, Perun, uh, and the it's oldest version, the, the Fire one. Mind. No? Oh, yeah. There's like, there's whatever, the five color. I don't count that one. That's, that's lame. Um, so wow. the, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for, for people who like Reborn. I don't know. Uh, the Perun is the one I like the most. Anyway, <laughs> it is the one that says, um, whenever you would draw a card, uh, Niv Mizzet deals one damage uh, to any target. So with Curiosity, it's a blue enchantment, uh, enchant creature. And it says whenever the enchanted creature deals damage, you draw a card. It's not combat damage. It's any damage. So you slap this baby onto Niv Mizzet. You draw a card any any such way. Niv Mizzet will deal one damage to any opponent. And when you deal uh, one damage to an opponent, uh, Curiosity triggers. You draw a card. And you do this uh, near infinite times. I and mean, the reason I say near infinite times is you can deal damage up until the point where you run out of cards to draw. It's, like eventually you might mill yourself out or you might kill everybody if you have enough cards in your library. It's not a Do may, we consider right? this? You have to draw. Um, I think it's a may. I think it's a may. Um, never declined, so he doesn't mm. know. <laughs> yeah. Would I ever say no? Oh, no, it is, it's not a may. It's not a may. It's okay. straight up you you must. So this is this is to me you must very powerful. Uh <laughs> it's a I think it's a very powerful it, it could be this one's treading in in between area because it well, it one. will it will kill somebody so by that by that definition i would say yeah sure it's a combo somebody will die well also you can you can stop the combo at any time by like targeting not the player right like one of the one of the triggers you just be like so eventually you can blow up your own oh. it. Yeah, well, so you don't have to blow up. You just deal one damage to anything, right? Like you deal damage to any creature, including the Mizzet itself, and then that will stop the, sure. the, in, the So the you're process. not going to mill yourself, yeah. yeah. Yes. I mean, this is, to this, me, this is clearly a combo. This is it a at combo. Least, it should kill someone. Depending on the board state, maybe you kill everyone. So I think yeah. no matter how, how I look at it, it's got to be a combo. Yeah, this, this is a combo. What if you only have, like, ten cards in your library? Is it still a combo? It's a combo. It's just a failed combo. Yeah. It's a physical I, combo. I would agree. I would agree. I, yeah. You had Ozzy at three life, you know, like, That's I guess. <laughs> right? You could, <laughs> <laughs> you could fail it. Combo. <laughs> True. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah, I guess I, I thought we'd be uh, arguing about this one a little more. I, I think it's a combo as well. Um, oh, I thought I was going to say it's a synergy. No. <laughs> no yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the I, kind of card that Silver plays, and he's like, oh, I don't synergy. know why you guys are killing me. <laughs> I was like, wow, because you're going to no, do this. I have a, I it's have a synergy. A combo deck, and it, yeah, it's curiosity. I call it a combo, which is why this, I was curious to see if people would be like, no, actually, it's a synergy. But how did this, I die? <laughs> this made me think of something related, which is very slightly off topic, but I want your opinion on Uh if something is infinite, but it's limited by the number of cards in your deck, do you consider infinite? Like, Isn't would this be an infinite combo? Because you go infinite, but eventually you're going to run out of cards in your deck. Does that keep it from being infinite? Because you have that restriction on it in your mind. That's a tricky one. See, now, is this infinite? Technically, no. It's finite. It's, it's a, finite. It's a finite yeah. combo. It so if, a you finite sat, if you sat thing. at a table, I, w I would say... No, I don't have it. I don't have an infinite. But I should tell you. But I but I should tell you. But I will tell you that I have Niv Mizzet curiosity. Okay. But then is Splinter Twin infinite? Because sooner yes. or later your arm's gonna get tired from tapping and you're gonna stop. I mean, for so like, nothing is truly infinite in magic, right? You right. Have it to does end. State an arbitrarily large number and then do it, right? And you take a shortcut. You're not sitting there tapping, right? So you'd be like, I make 500 trillion learns and tokens. And then your opponent could untap and be like, I make 500 trillion and one, right? <laughs> and I wrath your board. I plague engineer you or something, right? Like <laughs> they could do that, right? So Unless, unless you have an this... infinite that doesn't allow your opponents to... Yeah, but for your deck question, depends if you can win with like a reasonable amount of cards. Like if you needed like 90 cards in your deck to win the game... Then you're not really infinite, right? Like you, you, you're are, not going to have the cards, right? But you only need ten are, cards in your deck. Then there are like you could add a third card to shuffle your your uh, hand back into your library. Like you could time twister, for example, 
um, if you're getting low on cards or whatever and can keep the party going. Um, so there are ways around it. Uh, but that's a third card. That's not just Nimbus of Curiosity, for example, for this one. Like, is Hatred it's and Commander a combo? No. no. And a Commander? Just, like, yeah. any kind of Commander Gross. damage. Hatred. One <laughs> where, where you, like, channel Gross. your life into and, like, kill someone in one shot. And if you're mm -hmm. at 50 life, is it still a combo, right? Or whatever, right? Like, that's, that's no, the question. That's... That's a tough one for me, actually. Or, or, or what if you throw, like, a Rogue's Passage or something in a Boots? Does that make it any more combo-y? So we're talking, like, the <laughs> no. Voltron conundrum is, is suiting yeah, up Yeah, I guess it's the Voltron commander. conundrum, right? Is suiting up a commander and dealing commander damage uh, a combo in no. a way? That's synergy. You've synergy. Like, I think there's a lot of parts, though, like that. But, like, <sighs> at the end of it all, it is a synergy to me. But what, it, what if you have... Uh, yeah, that, I was kind of, that's where I initially came down. But then the more I thought about it, I was like, well, what if you have Pure Steel Paladin for free equipping and you have, yeah. you know, Colossus Hammer, Grafted Exoskeleton, and something that gives unblock Whisper Silk Cloak, Unblockable and Shroud. Like, that is a guaranteed kill of someone. My, I, you know, I'm sure that everything has an answer out there. But right, in general, right. it's a guaranteed kill. Like, is that a combo? Maybe You're like describing a Richard deck. Like, I kind of. Yeah, I'm the combo player. player. I, I, I kinda, have you been like, playing against Hammer Time plus the Exograph Skeleton? <laughs> there, there might be there might be situations where I could see the argument for being in a combo. I think in general, just playing a Voltron Commander, that's not a combo. But I could imagine like combos coming up as you're playing a Voltron Commander. I think that's that still sounds okay. So this one. That is true because I think you are adding infect into it, but then when you combine anything with infect, is that not just synergistic? Yeah, okay. It's a one shot okay. kill, right? Like I, I could but, combine but it with double strike, infect, but that, right? I could double strike <clears throat> to get the commander damage in, right? Or hatred or whatever, right? Like I'm one shotting you, but you have still... opportunities to interact, right? You could etherize or something, right? It's We're... a bad combo because it's like 30 mana and like six cards, <laughs> <laughs> right? But you still get one shot, right? Like, is it any different than if I scape shifted and fired it all at your face? But it, it, only, kills, it only kills one person. I feel like for me, my definition is, is anything that makes, uh, go, like does, goes infinite. It's a, two or more cards that go infinite or win the game. And while this makes one opponent lose the game, it doesn't make you win the game unless all opponents die. I thought we said killing so is, one person counted. I, I do. I would count so, one okay. person with that. Okay. But synergy, so example, like the definition I went with, synergy is two or more cards working better than the sum of their parts. Right? So to me, that all just sounds like one big synergy. <laughs> oh, boy, I'm on the fence. Good. I'm right in the fence. I, I lean towards synergy, but I can see arguments for, for combos in certain styles. Oh, yeah, I think it's it a combo kill. You wouldn't call it a combo deck, but it, it is a combo kill. It is, it is the Richard specialty. It is specialty. a combination of cards. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. If you see all those pieces on the battlefield, you would be sweating. Right? Just if someone played oh. like a, a naked basalt <laughs> monolith or rings or whatever without the other piece, you'd be sweating a little, right? So, oh, one hundred percent. When you're having when you're having the the pregame talk and people are like, "No combos," would you bust out a deck that can do this? I, I would a, say I, I, yeah. I'm playing Grafted Exoskeleton in a Voltron deck. You guys determine what that means, right? Well, but would, would I, I say, know what they're asking, right? Can would you they one say shot that's a someone? Combo or they're just like, ew, it's infect. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I, w I would, would totally you sleeve section? up this deck uh, that's using five different things and equipments and whatnot, right? Because like I, I, I don't, I don't consider Voltron a combo. So I just assume that's all going to fall into the Voltron package. You've assembled nineteen different things, right? And <laughs> all right, cool. I can, you're you're unkillable and you're going to one shot somebody. But that's just a bunch of strong synergies. Okay. All right. So that was kind of like a twofer. Like we we talked about Voltron. We talked about in effect. So we covered those two. I think we've covered pretty much everything. I think the the one uh, uh, there's two more that I, I want to briefly touch on, uh, if you will indulge me. Uh, one is Crater Hoof and a bunch of creatures. And you just you're like Elf Ball. You're a green deck. You know you have a bunch of creatures on the battlefield, and then you're like boom, Crater Hoof. All my creatures are huge. And this is a trample hasty guy, and 
you take take a billion. You're all dead. That's just a finisher. Yeah, that's just, that's a, just finisher. a finisher. That's a combo in one v one though. I don't even. It's, it's a combo v one. The legacy Rizzo deck is a combo deck. Of podcast. But if you have <laughs> enough <laughs> elves, if you have enough <laughs> elves, that will kill the whole table, right? I think. I think the combo in elves though is like hair tracer with nettle sentinel or something. Yeah. Like hoof is just like. That's the amazing. random thing that finishes the game. I don't think I, I guess that's part true. Of the combo. I guess it's Metal yeah. Sentinel. Wirewood is the combo, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm. But that's not even so the think... combo. That's not infinite, <laughs> nor does it win the game on the spot. I don't, yeah. I don't consider Critter Hub. Uh... <laughs> well, that's oh, the infinite. That's, that's, elf Ball is really just. It's not a combo deck, right? Would you call Elves a combo deck or like just. It is. Is it not? Is Legacy Elves not considered a combo deck? I don't consider it's just a creature that a combo. based combo. No? Consider oh, that do, any, do they do any infinite Get Joe in here. Or, what do we call it? <laughs> like, I would say it's a synergy combo. deck. It's a synergy deck. That's what oh, I would boy. say. Yeah, I would say elves is just very synergistic, legitimately. That's got to be a combo oh, deck. It's a, it's I mean, elves deck. as a whole. Just the deck is a combo deck. deck. I'm not even joking. I, I genuinely mean that, too. <laughs> I like how like we're over an hour into this and we kind of came. I thought this nowhere. is a well known. No way. Is, is, is elves an aggro deck, a mid range deck, aggro uh, deck. a control deck, or a combo deck? But didn't, aggro deck. What would you call it? It's, it's but Richard combo. didn't even say at the beginning that people nobody says the word synergy. Everybody just calls everything a combo. Pretty much, but so this is like actually that, a combo deck, right? Like no, you know, Jun is not a synergy deck. It's just a deck, it's right? Because everything's a, a synergy combo deck. In elf. What's a, oh, I, I'm not I'm not familiar Glimpse. with like, so so you play uh what is it there's like the archdruid where you can tap a green creature to make mana and then yeah. the nettle sentinel where when you play a card it untaps oh, the nettle sentinel you play glimpse so that when you cast an elf you draw a card and you just yeah. do this to get a board that's a combo slap down a crater it, hoof. it pays for itself yeah. right it pays for all the one mana elves so yeah th- there there therein lies the combo sure yeah. The whole deck is like the whole deck is built around that, right? Like very yeah. rarely do you die from well, one I, one I, I slowly chipping away I, at I you. Played, no, no, I'm like talking Canada to Grim, drafts who's, and modern. who refuses to believe it's a combo deck. I consider it an aggro deck, but but hoof isn't part of it either way. Like hoof, sure yeah, it wins, a, but you could play a, Progenitus or you could play an Emrakul or whatever. Like I guess that's true. That's just the best way to finish the game after you combo. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Crater Hoof, no. Uh, the last one I wanted to go off on was Planeswalkers, just Planeswalkers, and Doubling yes. Season. Oh. Doubling Season says whenever whenever you would put like one or more counters, you put that, double that many counters. And Planeswalkers love coming into the battlefield with loyalty counters. So they enter the battlefield, they have double loyalty counters. They usually have this big old ability at the very bottom, the last ability, that's called an ultimate uh, or we call it an ultimate. And usually those are game-winning uh, effects that you, it's hard for you to get to. It takes multiple turns and protecting the Planeswalker to get to it. And doubling seasons is like Nabby. You can immediately ultimate the turn that enters the battlefield. Would we consider this a combo? I would consider this a combo. Uh, because there are definitely Planeswalkers that just literally come down and win the game if they ultimate. Like, as in... I win the game. <laughs> it says it on the card. <laughs> I feel like it depends on the planeswalker. Sure. If you have the Nicole Bolas that says win the game, or you have even uh, the Liliana that makes everyone sack down to one permanent or whatever, like except for you, that doesn't <laughs> literally win you the game on the spot. It's a I, good was, ultimate. I, I still think that's enough that you that you win the game virtually win the game and it'd be considered a combo plus as we saw like a week ago everyone's gonna scoop anyway so you do kind of win the game right away uh but if it's garrick Wildspeaker and you're gonna overrun quicker or it's like nissa and you're gonna put a bunch of lands into play i'll concede that would be a synergy <laughs> <laughs> so i think it depends on the planeswalker so it can or cannot be depending if, on the if it's a nissa it's usually what a if combo it's an emblem <laughs> like teferi right you don't win the game you don't win the game the next turn you're still very likely to win the game maybe see the planeswalkers know. feels right? like but the issue here is like the topic itself if you put planeswalkers that's like saying creatures plus something else right not every creature mm-hmm. is a combo so i i think that planeswalkers a bit too broad um just because every planeswalker does a very different ultimate right and and and, and especially in the format 
Some and some don't ultimate yeah. at all. And you're like, what do you do? Karn no, Sai in the birds. Or just like, oh, like I can. Common Narset, yeah. I, I would <laughs> always say when I play Narset part of Reveals, I ultimate. <laughs> Which is because be I'm wrong. ultimating, I'm impulsing. <laughs> um. I, I definitely agree with Seth and Krim that it depends on the planeswalker. But if you if you have an if you have an ultimate ability that wins you the game, or or secures victory to the point where like your opponents do not have an out that is like feasible, like the Liliana for example. If you ultimate Liliana, your opponents are so far behind, and you had a you had an impressive board state. You your your board state is is untouched. You you basically won the game. I'm going to say that that would be a combo. Now. Slash high synergy. Technically still a game ender because you're starting a new one. I would consider <laughs> Karn liberated. <laughs> Wait. Gosh. <laughs> Teferi. Teferi is actually one of the That's interesting cool. ones. Teferi like, is not a game ender. Because it because it doesn't win the game very yeah. quickly. But if it goes on for several turns, you probably are going to win the game by exiling stuff. That's <laughs> like the gray area, I think, for me. I, believe I would lean towards emblem, synergy. but right? What about, what about Ugin? Does. Draw seven. Oh, play no. seven permanents. I haven't even lost that, and I've actually survived that one on one. A Tron player ulted Ugin <laughs> and just like put a bunch of lands in and a, like a few stars, and I'm like, take my turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so no, then Krim has proved it's a no. Yeah, I literally <laughs> no. sat there. I mean, I was sweating. Don't get me wrong. I was I like, mean, oh I boy, Krim's bar is pretty high. He needs to like <laughs> immediately win or like have a 99.9% chance of winning. Right? That's what a combo <laughs> should be, right? But That's that, what a combo I agree with that too. Seven. Ugh. I, I agree with that. Seth I is agree upset with that you seven, the but not that I'm close. I'm close. <laughs> yeah. I'm right on the fence with Ugin too. That's that's one of the gray area ones. Maybe, uh, maybe really? a combo. I feel like Ugin's not gray area. It's it's not even close to combo. <sighs> but what I if mean, you have you a combo in your Ugin? deck that you put into play for free, like what? Kiki Tiki then that, and then that's the combo, right? Angel? <laughs> then the, 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 the Ugin Fair. is not the part of the combo. Combo is brought out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, you you convinced me. Not a combo. It's a synergy. Not a combo. <laughs> so right, everything's well, a synergy now. We just walk. Is that a synergy? Yeah, it's legit, a synergy. Uh, <laughs> legit, though, the biggest misconception, the reason why we're having this is because everybody does say everything's a combo, right? And it I'm is still going to say everything's a combo. I mean, <laughs> even if I know what's wrong. I think we have to use that definition, though, right? When you're talking yeah. to other people, we need to use the words everyone understands, just like power well, level. Why, right? why is Everyone's that? deck is a seven. That means the average is a seven, and we're going up to twelve or something, well, right? Is, like we can't like, use our own definition and just talk nonsense, right? The, yeah. Well, like th these definitions, while I think they're more accurate in terms of describing what these things are, and in terms of like the nomenclature, like realistically, like this is like being super nerdy about very specific <laughs> things that most Magic players do not care about. Mm -hmm. like, but Magic you just call anything a combo. It's and weird. That's what most people understand. But that's it's weird. Two cards, they go together. You know, they work well, so it's a combo. And uh, I disagree with that. But like, you know, you're gonna still, you're not gonna be like, I'm actually. Uh, that would be considered a synergy. The entire magic community is um actually. That, we, <laughs> that's we, true. Our, that's our whole true. game is based that's on true. wording, right? But Example. Like, wait, does it yeah. say target or does it say not target? Right? Because <laughs> our whole game is based that's on true. wording. So why are we not <laughs> using the correct wording? Combo so is just so a for us word. in the community, it doesn't way. matter much, right? We all have our own definitions, and we can make nuanced discussions about it but if you're introducing a new player to magic and you want them to be able to speak to other magic players in a sane way i think they need the definition of the community rather than the um actually but, but we right? don't like, but we don't pile on right like it, it's like doubling down on the incorrect term is, is the issue we, we need to be sheep and fit in okay no. <laughs> don't be sheep what are you doing <laughs> Combo is also more attention grabbing, I think, than synergy. Like when you say, like, "Ooh, a powerful new synergy." synergy. <laughs> yeah, nobody that likes is, that. Nobody's that gonna click true. on synergy. <laughs> that's a sweet that's like synergy. A, that's not like gonna get the YouTube money, Richard. <laughs> There's no combo. synergy decks, right? I didn't build a synergy. <laughs> Every deck is synergy yeah, deck. But a combo so deck in standard turn two. <laughs> Whoa! Like crazy, right? This, like, this week what on a Against combo. Odds, we are synergying <laughs> <Look at> off. <laughs> Turn two counterspell. What a combo! How about, how about uh, you could say replace synergy with esports mode or or, <laughs> or popping off? 
<laughs> pop it off. <laughs> Pay later oh, planes. Use that. I might, I might have that to steal planes for mana. White mana. Cat swords of plowshares. What a combo. That's popping off. <laughs> poop, poop, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> like, yeah. You, you, you can, you, like, I, I don't know. I mean, that you would be, I'm just surprised, right? Magic is a game where very much so, like, as most <laughs> players are like, um, actually, but <laughs> but we're like super loose at, at random parts, and I'm like, hold on, that's we like- just call everything combo. That's just how it is. <laughs> it's very strange, and I, I like I I really enjoyed this this discussion because like when I when I walked, popped into it, I literally did not know. Zach, um, actually, Tomer, it's not a discussion; it's a debate. <laughs> no, I'm just it's a debate. Oh, no. <laughs> well, on that note, Krim, uh, we're gonna we're gonna sign off. But before we sign off, because I forgot. Uh, we should, uh, you should know that if you want to support this channel, you want more podcasts, you want to see this stuff grow, uh, you can do two things. One, you can like, subscribe, do all those cool things. Maybe you forgot. Maybe, maybe I just reminded you right now and be really super cool if you like, subscribe and all, all that good stuff, all that jazz. And the other thing you can do, uh, to support us financially is you can go and steal the play mats off of Richard's wall. Yes, by going to the mtggoldfishmerchstore.com, the link is popping up on the screen right now, you can buy those play mats plus deck sleeves, plus boxes and everything. I think, Richard, you put like a deck box like on your couch, like nestled in yes, there? Yes, there is. You see Richard's it. Uh, subtle placement right there. <laughs> right there. Yeah, product so placement. Product placement, <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you like that, yeah, I know it's kind of tiny over there, but you'll get a big full-size version. Um, deck boxes, deck sleeves, uh, just shirts, and play mats, and all that, all that good stuff and more over on the merch store. So check that all out. And um, well, yeah, well, quick question: How much? Like, how likely do you think it is that Richard cries into that deck box, and that's just a bunch of Tarmogoyfs? <laughs> He's just like <laughs> that's where his hours of the night. Richard just sits on the couch. He's like, why that, is it? That, that's just a, that's better? a deck box of all Jund rejects. <laughs> <His> Twenty eleven. <laughs> <there. laughs> <laughs> waiting for the day, Bob. You were a good card. Bob, what you're coming you'll be back. Good again. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> two beta, two one that can draw cards sometimes. Whoa, what value? <laughs> combo. It's a combo. <laughs> it's a combo. Oh, it's a combo. Star <laughs> combo. Jund is a combo deck. It's popping <laughs> off. <laughs> Snapcaster and Instant of the Sorceries. Is that a combo? Who knows? We'll never know. Uh, we do know. It's nothing. not a combo. <laughs> All right. Well, that's our show, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Um, if you have suggestions on what we should be covering on a future podcast, uh, the list is, is running pretty low, so we're always open to stuff. Uh, let us know that. Like, subscribe, merch store, all that good stuff. And until next time, friends, see ya.